All right, for this problem, we're given the function y equals 2 sine of 3 theta minus 2, and we're asked to find the amplitude, period, phase shift, and vertical shift, and then to graph the function. So the amplitude is always going to be the coefficient in front of the sine, and so here our amplitude is going to be 2. That means we're going to go up 2 from the midline and down 2 from the midline. Um, the period... Uh, the normal period for a sine function is 2 pi, but then if there's a coefficient in front of our theta, if we see some, uh, some number other than 1 in front of our theta, we need to divide our normal period of 2 pi by that number. So here we've got 2 pi divided by 3 is going to be our period. The phase shift is our horizontal shift. It's what we're adding or subtracting inside the parentheses. Here, there's no parentheses, so there's not going to be any phase shift. That's just zero, which just means we're going to start right at the y-axis. We're not shifting this left or right. Um, the vertical shift is given by this number that we're adding or subtracting to the entire thing. Um, here, we're subtracting 2, so we're going to shift our sine function down 2. Um, and so we're just going to put negative 2 for our vertical shift. All right, now let's graph it. We're going to start with our midline. The midline for a sine function is normally right on the x-axis. Um, but we're going to shift it down 2. And so our midline is going to be here at y equals negative 2. All right, and the sine function always starts right on the midline. So uh, let's start here with our first point on the y-axis and on the midline. And now after one period, we're going to be, uh, we're always gonna be back to where we started. So after one period, the period is two pi over three. So if we go out two pi over three, we're gonna be back at that, at that midline. And you can see this is pi over two, this is pi. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six little hash marks out to out to the pi, so two-thirds of that would be four hash marks, so that's where I found that. So that's one period from here to here. Halfway between the beginning and end of a period with a sine function, we're going to cross the midline again. We're going to cross the midline right there. And then halfway between these first two points, sine always starts at the midline and goes up, so halfway between these two points, we're going to reach our maximum. Now our maximum is going to be the vertical shift plus the amplitude. So negative 2 plus 2 is going to be 0. So our maximum is 0. We're going to reach that right here. And then halfway between these second two points, we're going to reach our minimum, which is going to be the vertical shift minus the amplitude. So negative 2 minus 2 is going to be negative 4. And then... Uh, we can draw our sine function there. And this would, of course, continue on uh, in this same pattern for infinity, but as long as you show me one period, that's all I need to see.